During an emergency braking situation, the driver's reaction time and the force they apply on the brake may not be sufficient to ensure the greatest possible braking response. Research reveals that a shorter stopping distance can be achieved if the driver is assisted. Emergency Brake Assist, or EBA, provides this assistance. So, how does it work? Based on brake pedal depression, speed and force, the Emergency Brake Assist function determines if emergency braking is occurring. The Large Power Brake Booster incorporates a diaphragm to achieve both high braking performance and a natural braking feel. When the brake pedal is depressed strongly or at higher speeds, atmospheric pressure against the diaphragm in the brake booster increases the brake boost effect to the master cylinder. The brake master cylinder is responsible for controlling brake fluid pressure. It responds to this boost by increasing brake fluid pressure to its highest possible level. As a result, the maximum possible brake force is immediately applied on all four wheels with far greater speed and strength than an unassisted driver could achieve. It also works in concert with the anti-lock brake system to ensure the braking event does not cause wheel lock. Let's take a look at EBA in action. The vehicle on the left has EBA. The vehicle on the right does not. Both vehicles are travelling at 100 kilometres per hour. Let's simulate an emergency braking situation and see what happens. Both drivers apply their brakes at the same time and with the same force. But the vehicle with EBA brakes sooner and with greater force and so it stops before the obstacle. The vehicle without EBA needed additional distance to stop and so crashes into the obstacle. EBA helps a driver avoid accidents by reducing emergency stopping distances and ensuring that if there is a collision, the impact speed is lower.